Hello, beautiful human. Thanks for giving us a click of your time. Selena Gomez and the girls of Blackpink going to be here at any minute. My hair is getting long, but the vibe is good. I just want to eat some ice cream. What's good? Did you hear that rhyme? Not as good as Lisa's rap. Anyway, uh, like I said, Blackpink and Selena Gomez going to be here at any second. Please leave your honest feedback in the comment section below. If you like the video, hit like and I beg. Even if you hate us, hit subscribe, please. Let's do this. Hello. Hi, Zach. How are you? By the way, I am phenomenal. And this is overwhelming in the best possible way. Because they, they, look at everybody here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what a merging of worlds. I thank you all for giving us time today. And I wish we were in person. Like I, I, Selena was just saying, like, it, it, we're used to being face to face. But uh, yeah, I, I go to his studio here all the time. So it's like, I've known these people since I was in my, like, probably early 20s. So they've been, they're just, they're the great. They're so fun. <laughs> Which, let's dive in here because these it's like the merging of two different paths that in so many ways are different, but at the same, you guys have similar journeys, right? You make music, you create art in some fashion. And at the same time, you live very public lives. What was it like working together? I mean, and, and just making art as one essentially. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy because we grew up listening to Selena's music and um, we've been really big fans of her since her. I guess um, she was a big help to us growing up too. And so now that we're on this, um, we're doing the same, not the same thing, but you know, we're trying to get there too. And that Selena's helping us out with this. You know, it's really, really great. We're really grateful for it. And she's like the sweetest person. So I'm very empowered and it's really excited that you know, and her fans really like what we're doing right now. Very grateful. Aren't they the best, you guys? They didn't get to shoot the video or anything in person, but every time I talk to them, they're so sweet. They, uh -huh. <laughs> so, very different to make a record like this, right? Because obviously it wasn't in person. You have to go back and listen to different pieces and different things at different stages. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, that did make it a bit challenging. You know, obviously what's going on is way more important than, you know, the stuff that we are doing, but the things that we're creating is just, it's so different. And what I loved about them is that they have this versatility about them that it's like, it's almost just like, it's like a, you're in, you're caught in some like different fancy, cool life, you know? And, and then I want them to just be equal here. And I want to be able to like have fans. Cause I told the girls, I was like, the moment I posted the black pink thing, I mean, I got a million followers just from that because of them. And, and by the way, isn't that <laughs> wild to say, right? Because how many tens and tens and tens and tens and tens and tens of millions of followers do you already have? Like, what? <laughs> no, I just, it was, I don't know. It was such a special moment with us. I really, I really, ha I'm happy we did it. The record altogether, is this a sign sonically, guys, for the album that's ahead? I mean, we actually, the album is jam packed for this, all these dis different surprises. Mm -hmm. So, as much as Ice Cream was a big surprise, we heard, I feel like, you know, yes, it is because the album is full of surprises. <laughs> this is the first biggest surprise. <laughs> yeah. And obviously, it's a debut album. So. Yes. It's done, right? Because it's coming October. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, obviously. Mm -hmm. We're working on it every day right now to make it complete. It's and... really almost done. Mm -hmm. so now we're like freaking out because it's <laughs> literally <laughs> not tomorrow. It's around the corner, but you know, it, it's great to have um, ice cream released right before mm -hmm. and get get this great energy going mm -hmm. and you know just being feel supported by Selena mm -hmm. it, it gives us power. The song itself is kind of it is power, but it's also fun. And, but the lyrics have some substance. It's very independent. I, I don't know, top to bottom. Your first thoughts when you heard it, Selena? What did you think? I was honestly the their vocals on it alone i was just blown away i was like 
this is this is going to be like a huge thing. So basically, that's kind of happened. But it was just awesome, you know. The opportunity came up, and they're the ones that had the song. And um, when they came to me, it was a no-brainer. Just because I I loved the idea of it, that splitting different worlds up and um, combining it together. Obviously, in many ways, is a universal language the song but black pink what you do music in general is a universal language um right now in your album process because that's coming up where are you are you listening to the songs that you're about to put out obsessively are you nervous at all like at what what stage are you guys in like do you just listen to your own stuff on repeat because there that is a stage of the album making right selena like you just no no of course you you know you have to be in it a few times or give it into, you know, one or twice, you know, it's like, yeah. So we've been listening, yeah, we're constantly listening to it, going back in the studio and home. Yeah. <laughs> you have all these visual stuff. And everybody who's listening should buy their album. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We're very um, excited and nervous. Yeah, it's really but exciting. <laughs> once it's almost done, like you listen to it, trying to act pretend like you're the listener, like you're the fan, and it actually takes some time for you to grow into um, the song in that type of way, in that perspective. And that is very like interesting because we always only put like a few songs out at once, but putting a full album together and listening listening through it like straight it's a whole different experience and we're very excited for the fan we like it yeah. i'm excited yeah, yeah. Ah! Thank you, <laughs> I gotta hit pause real quick to tell you about my favorite deodorant, Native. For years, I was searching for the right stuff and Native is it for many, many reasons. Native is right for me and it could be right for you because they have like 14,000 five-star reviews. Anyway, it, Native doesn't just like block odor better, it's made better. It's made of things that you understand. Tapioca starch, coconut oil, shea butter. Hello, you've heard of those things. So it's good to put on your body. Also, there's scents for everybody. My favorite is coconut and vanilla, also a big lavender and rose guy, plus cucumber and mint, and they do have seasonal scents too, so I'm telling you, there's a scent that works for you. If you want to try out Native, risk-free, you can do it. Try it out, return it, you got 30 days to do it. Just go to nativedo.com slash Zach, that is nativedo.com slash Zach, or use my name in the promo code section at checkout, nativedo.com slash Zach, try it out, and let me know how you smell. By the way, the visuals on Ice Cream are superb. Jenny, did you ever think you would do a music video next to a capybara, also known as a... <laughs> oh, my God. oh, that was actually, I have to say, that was my, like, wish, like, dream come true. I was telling my director, like... We can I, like can I please have a capybara in one of our videos? Yeah, and, and finally, finally, yeah, I got three of them. <laughs> I fell in love. Like it was, <laughs> it was, they're they're so cute, they're so sweet. friendly and sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm so lucky <laughs> to meet the capybaras. <laughs> I feel like the capybara gets a bad rap, and you're really going to change the branding of the water pig. Yes, you're I doing a lot. They need creatures. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, and they're so friendly. Okay. Really friendly. You guys should all meet capybaras. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Uh, from water pigs to ice cream, my favorite thing. Uh, Selena, how cool is it to own, a, a, I guess, like a steak? You're an investor in Serendipity, one of the most iconic ice cream brands of all time. Frozen hot chocolate changed my life. Yeah, me too. I. It was really crazy because Serendipity was a classic for me. I mean, the first time I ever went to New York, my mom took me there. And then since then, I always go back um, if I can. Um, but it's just, it's been, it's like almost a childhood thing for me. And then I love the movie, Sarah Deputy. So, you know, the rest was history. I mean, yeah. we only eat, we only eat Sarah Deputy yeah. from now on, the, yeah. the black pink version of <laughs> chocolate chip. Well, the, the truth is once you go into the serendipity world, it's really hard to consume anything else. So when I found them on store shelves within the last couple of years, I was very excited. I have a body built by ice cream, so I'm, I, it, 
it plays a big role in my life. So uh, big serendipity fan. Yes, it was cool. I mean, that's a dream, you know. I'll, maybe you should make your own ice cream. Well, hey, you have my own. <laughs> whenever you, you know, I'm down for collaboration. Um, okay. The other thing I got to bring up is Rare Beauty is people are obsessed across the board from makeup users to makeup gurus on YouTube to people who work in the makeup stores. They love the foundation, dude. Yeah. Like, that's what I keep hearing is they love the foundation. How much work goes into that? Well, I worked on this for about two years, two and a half years. Um, and I just, I remember saying, it's like, this is going to be something that will make people feel good. I didn't want to put any sort of pressure and unrealistic goals. Like, I, that's why I made it <clears throat> to, like, feel that way so that you, you're comfortable wearing it and it's light and it's just to, to actually finally have it out and to hear those opinions of some of the people who are geniuses in the beauty world, it just was, it made me feel really good, you know, and it's beyond just, you know, being rare. It's like, you are rare, but this is more just like affirming that you are unique and you are rare. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. <laughs> I know nothing about makeup, but I, I do know from what I've gathered on the internet that foundation is the hardest thing to perfect. So the fact that you do that right is a huge deal. Wow, you do always do your homework. <laughs> Honestly, I got to give credit to my friend who works at, uh, I think, a Mac or something, and she's obsessed with it. She gathered, she's, she's been telling me all about it, gathering all the reviews and giving them to me, and I've been watching the videos on it. I learned, uh, you know, yeah. my love. Maybe, maybe, what, maybe we'll do a tutorial. I, you can make this look somewhat great or decent. Oh, I can make you <laughs> Oh my God, that's what I need. <laughs> Girls of Blackpink, what do you learn from Tommy from making music with him? And how many songs have you guys created for this album? Yeah, we have two songs with Tommy um, on this album, and just with him, he, what was interesting was he wanted to really get to know us, like not just give us a song yeah, and then have us leave. Like he wanted to um, get to know individually and kind of find the right, you know, right sound and the right image for us. And yeah, and we had Teddy with us, with our um, producer here, and they get along pretty well. And so you know, we were just. We were just having fun, we were just playing around, and we made music. It's definitely interesting because we work a lot with our main producer. It's so interesting to actually meet a different producer and work work with yeah. them mm -hmm. and collaborate. So that was a time. Whole new experience, new opportunity to learn. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Sorry, did I cut you off? No. no. Oh, I was worried. I don't want to cut anybody off. That's like one of my. <laughs> You know. It's like a nightmare in your world. Oh my! Oh, yes, it will, like, and if it happens, it's all I'll think about. You know, and uh, <laughs> um, so question for all of you. Obviously, the world's been a different place over the last few months, and it's a two-parted question for the girls of Blackpink, which is, what do you learn about yourselves, and then what do you learn about each other over the past few months? And Selena, what do you learn about yourself? Because it, I know it's been you and friends and. Dude, a lot of life and a lot of cooking, a lot of food of different sorts, a lot of things. What do you learn about yourself during this pandemic? I think I, I honestly think I've I've learned to be a bit kinder to myself, um, just because I'm I'm such an empath, and so I get very frustrated and with like things going on sometimes. So, yeah. By the way, like that is a great step for personal growth, right? Because that can change the way you live once this is all over. Even how you yeah. live is going on. And I kind of know like who are who my people are, you know. Well, because you 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 have the opportunity to cut out and realize what you actually need to survive and to get. Yeah, the not not even like that sounds bad, but you know, just you get it. You get me. Yeah. It, it, and girls, how about you? What do you learn about yourself and each other? Because I'm assuming you guys have been together for most of the last, I don't know, I've lost track of time, five months? Um, definitely a lot, because it's like uh, we work together and we spend a lot of time together. So every day, you know, we're learning how to get along with um, other people and be sharing and caring and, mm -hmm. you know, be all in the same thing. We're all looking at the same thing, all four of us. So, you know, 
that's always also a challenge, but it's very fun. And we do learn a lot about ourselves through that process, I feel like. And we appreciate that we have each other to rely on. rely on and, you know, talk about stuff when mm-hmm. we feel like we're lost mm-hmm. or, you know, when we feel like we're going in the wrong direction. You have somebody right next to you just telling you, you know, you're, you're yeah. doing well. And mm-hmm. Which is why I really yeah. commend Selena too, because when I have a question about my own job, I go, hey, like, what do you think I should do about this situation that would give me their advice? Mm-hmm. I'm, 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 like, amazed how you you did so yeah. well. <laughs> You're doing so well, so it's like, wow, respect. Yeah, yeah. by the way, that's just, you guys have other, you, you have three other girls with you on this journey, and Selena, you had a different crew around you. Yes, and if I could have those girls, that would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> but I, uh, I, yeah. Nope, just me. <laughs> I know, and I have my girls now. <laughs> just fly over to Korea, we'll be. <laughs> By the way, a, a song really does bond you with somebody forever. You know, you all. Yeah. You, you have. And it was such a huge moment. You know, these girls made history. It's like, it's such a cool thing to be a part of. And it's only the start, which is the craziest thing to think about. Yeah. Gotta get their album, everybody. That's thank you. The album. October, I believe, October second. And uh Jisoo, by the way, hello. Everybody's very excited for your K drama. I'm sending you a lot of love. Uh-huh. Woo! And first acting career. I'm excited, I hope. And it's kind of exciting. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, hi, Lisa. Or do I call you Mona Lisa? I don't know. Oh, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. <laughs> I, I'm sending you guys a lot of love and appreciation. Thank you for hanging out with us today. And uh, yeah, you guys, all of you, very special song uh, created with a lot of special people behind the scenes from Tommy Brown to Ariana Grande. You guys have made, uh, and obviously you're Tommy too. Sending you guys love and appreciation. Thank you, thank you for taking the time. And the song's amazing. And yeah, hell yeah. Thank you. I can't believe Dan. What are you doing over there? I know. Thank you. I'm just, I'm just hanging out. <laughs> uh, clearly, but you always have an opinion when I'm there. <laughs> well, hopefully we can see each other in person and we can talk about some things. Okay. Wow. Right, fair enough. But everyone else, love ya. What a tease. Love, guys. Bye. 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 Hey, beautiful human, thanks for watching our full interview, but I get it. Like, a full interview is a lot. So we got a clips channel. We don't expect you to watch the full thing anymore, so we just gave you the highlights. Please, subscribe, and uh, notifications, and all that stuff. Okay, cool. I love you.